for us to do this. Now I see this interview like a three or four year interview about this. No, no, I know. We've had an interview before. Yes. Uh, that was uh, yes. my days at plus. Yes. Uh, but ever since I came to Xylophone, sure. the fans. Sure. You know, sometimes they even thought there was an issue. Like, oh. yeah, maybe you have to tell them that there is no issue. Oh, that we are cool. No yes. Because I've been reading that uh, because you hate Sarkozy, yeah, that's why he doesn't <laughs> come on your show. Oh my God! No, no, no. no, no. <laughs> you know how the fans react to it. Mm, mm. Even even this morning, the pressure. They didn't want us to talk about any other thing, play any other song apart from Sarkozy. So I said no, it doesn't happen. Sarkozy has not watched the stage yet. So you guys should, <laughs> you guys should take it out. We have done the discussions about how much we can sell it to him, then we can take it from there. But Kim, welcome, welcome, welcome. The no pressure feeling is all over the world. Yes. Now, everywhere you pass, especially as much as music is concerned, everybody is talking no pressure. Yes. At least we have some bits and pieces about the No Pressure album already. Uh, the fact that you decided to name the album No Pressure because you think, now, in fact, you don't need anyone to put, you, to, to put any pressure on you. Yes. You've done enough. People should just relax and enjoy what you have been doing. Mm -hmm. But I still ask you. Why don't we get this opportunity to be talking? Why don't we get this opportunity to be talking to you all this while? Um, I don't know if there's a particular reason. I think it just it has to happen. Mm. You know, um, I feel, I think that's something you, yourself, you want to reach out to me. I think it's always possible. You came to the house. Yeah. I don't know. That's all. That's all. That's all. That's all. Just that maybe, um, yeah, I, I won't rule out the fact that I'm very, uh, I don't know, I try to stay away a little bit from mm -hmm. uh, interviews, not because I feel like it's bad, it's just sometimes when I feel like I'm in a space where I don't want uh, controversies or something picked out of what I say out of context, mm -hmm. I make sure that I'm really ready. To speak, mm. then I go on to speak. Mm. So it's not like I don't want to you know, go on the radio or you know, mm. it just doesn't present itself at the right time. Okay. I really want to speak and I feel like I'm in the right space, right frame of mind, or just have a conversation. Mm. Yeah. Sometimes I ask, is Sack still scared of controversies after all these years in this game? No, not scared. It's yeah. just more of ruining a, a good energy around you. So mm. it, it, it didn't start from just doing interviews, it has to do with doing, um, I have no notification. Unless I'm, I'm expecting a, a, a phone call or something and I put on notification to be able to see it. But I never have things that will distract. Because in, in my career, you're dealing with the world and everybody literally wants to reach out to say something. There was mm. a point where mm. almost every time somebody has something negative to tell you, like, we had this, you know, this is, and then it brings your spirit down. I mean, naturally, mm. I hate, mm. I hate uh, mm. negative energy. So mm. it is always, you, know, you can't find it always positive to the end, but at least you try to keep little positivity around you and mm. that is what made me gradually move away from everything that will make me disturb the mm. positive energy that I have. Mm. Yeah. So does this also affect even your friendship with some of your colleagues in the industry? Because obviously you go talk to someone, either someone will say something about another person which might get somewhere, put you into a discussion. Yeah, if, if you're that type of a person, it will be hard for me to like it. You notice that I don't um, maybe reach out that much. Mm -hmm. If I notice you're somebody who wants to discuss about other people and always talking about something very negative or dark or you know mm. I, I don't think i would entertain that and i think friendship is, is way deeper than how we see it mm. it's hard to call friends now because mm. the word friends we just use, use it around just like that mm. but so i don't really have like friends 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 mm. the people i have as friends are not even related to my my line of work so mm. okay mm. Mm. Uh, those in the business world some yes yeah because i saw on your bed today i saw some of them uh, around so that's that's the typical circle mm. around me like 24 mm. circles mm. like they know but that was a surprise so then they brought the people that they know that they, they would think i would want to see mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. that's the few people that you saw the mm. i see now you did something in kumase and i was very appreciative of you when you saw your photo at the back of the commercial vehicle yes. where you were driving but it still rolled down your glass and you took a video of the driver Sometimes I see that uh, after all the numbers, after all the people following King Sack, do you guys still appreciate the little, little things? Like someone posting you, someone putting your name here, putting your photo here. Yes. Do you guys still appreciate them like that? Yes. Uh, it was a call 
for doing music was not necessarily just to uh, make it as a, a start and that's it. It doesn't end there. You know, mm-hmm. I appreciate the fact that the first time somebody listened to me, I appreciate it. And that's the same feeling I have to now. So anybody who plays the music, supports the brand, and you criticize from a positive place, you can see when somebody's talking about you, it's not like they hate you. They literally mm-hmm. care and then mm-hmm. they feel like they want to mm-hmm. uh, put their quarter to your greatness. Mm-hmm. I, I appreciate all of that. So mm-hmm. yeah, that was one of the scenes. It's not like the first time I've seen that. I always yeah. see it a lot. Yeah. But um, it depends. That mood, I was, it was just a perfect time and I felt like doing that at that point. Mm. Yeah. And uh, do you often do it? Or it happens that that day you are in that I, spirit? Yeah, I can count how many times that. Uh, yeah, I think sometimes when I'm in, especially in Tema or somewhere, like the, the church or that, they have, mm-hmm. it's just fun for them to. If somebody has your picture on their car, mm-hmm. at least it gives you an idea that they didn't appreciate you or love you. Mm. So, um, mm. If you're around, it wouldn't be taking anything from you, so just let them see you. Mm. That this is you. Mm. Let's see. All right, so this is what we're going to do because I want us to really spend time on the album. We will be listening to the songs on the album from time to time whilst we do our conversations around it. So, guys, you guys are welcome to be part of this discussion. You can always drop your um, shout outs to King Sack. I'm not reading questions from you now. <laughs> if you want to shout out the King, that is okay. King, which of the songs would pass? As your favorite on the No Pressure album, maybe we can start. We are not going to play it in no particular order. We are going to listen to them. And okay, yes, okay. I hope you've done the cleaning already. Okay, <laughs> yeah, I was about to say. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. So when, I, when I record in the studio, creatively, I think most artists will relate. You just want to say exactly what you want to say. Then afterwards, the technical writers, the engineer, the management, they go through beefing um, out or mm-hmm. do whatever that mm-hmm. suits me. Really. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I'm um, boss. I'm sorry. I gave you work, eh? but you didn't have to like listen to because even the producers when I told them to do the clean version, they still weren't able to do it 100. Yeah, yeah. You're done. Okay, I trust yeah. you, boss. Yeah. So um, my favorite, I think, it keeps changing. I, I I was definitely into No For Baby, but uh, I think I like anything. Anything. Yes, anything is, is uh, I like that. Well, what is making it change? Uh, what made it move from no fugazi to anything? Um, I think I've loved anything for a very long time because it was there before no fugazi. Mm-hmm. So that fact that no fugazi is new and it's fresh, I loved it. And then uh, it was Afrobeat that I was rapping. I was really, really rapping. It, was, it sounds like hip hop, but then it's still Afrobeat. Mm-hmm. It's new for me, so I mm-hmm. loved it. Mm-hmm. But anything is more of the, the message, mm-hmm. the music, and mm-hmm. the mood of the beat is very. Very sad. <laughs> <laughs> now, now, is this album actually created for your hip hop lovers? Because I, I've seen some one or two comments, people who think that yeah, this is for the Sarkozy hip hop class. Yes, um, not all the way because I can say it's hip hop dominated, but it's not like one hundred percent hip hop. Exactly. My previous album, which was Black Cloud, was mm-hmm. dominated by Afro. Afro, and yeah, that's a creative yeah. person. You get tired sound so mm. none of my albums were back to back the same thing mm. so when i get frustrated i can go into zoom mary mm. and then come out and then it brings you back when you're back did you say when you got frustrated yeah the inspiration came from grammar but okay. then i get uh, it's, i don't know how to explain it every creative person can, can tell you that you can hit a block where you can't write anymore and that means you, you are not challenging yourself so then you have to switch and do some try something else and then when you come back to rap you appreciate it mm. now that i've dropped this one if i do a hip-hop album again my approach will be hard because now I'm about to do the same thing over again. But then mm. if I go and try jazz and come back to this, then I'll appreciate it. So that's literally what I do. Mm. 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 Yeah. I see. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, you can also watch us live on Xylophone TV. This is the review of the No Pressure album here on Xylophone FM Showbiz Agenda. Yes, Jessica, are we ready? Okay, let's do this. <laughs> 